Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For today's Excel Quick Trainer, we're going to discuss sorting in Excel. This is video number nine of a planned set of training videos on basic Excel. The target audience is students and the objective is to get you up to speed quickly on using Excel. First up, sorting on a single column. There are times when you have a table and want to sort all of the rows by the contents of a single column. For example, name here. Maybe you want to sort all these rows by the contents of the name column. To do so, First, click on any cell that's in this column that we want to sort by. Just don't click the column header name and don't click outside of the data grid. Just click a cell that's inside of the data grid and that's in the column you want to sort by. And then your buttons may be different from mine, but from the home menu, you'll have an A to Z, or it might look like this. Let me expand it out here a bit. It might look like this as well, where you have a sort and filter and then a sort A to Z button. Anyway, whichever way it comes, go ahead and click on the sort A to Z button, and voila. You may have briefly noticed it, but the entire table was selected, which is good. That's what Excel is supposed to do. That way, now all of the uh, rows are sorted by name, and the correspond, let me undo. So I was on Jenny, and WXZ13 was the column to the right. And now I'll redo with Control Y. And if I go to Jenny, WX, it was one of those two. And so all the data stayed together because the column was selected. And that's a good thing. Uh, many years ago, it used to be that you'd have to first select the table and then do a sort. And you'd have to use the tab key to move around. But anyway, it doesn't matter to select which column. Now it's much easier. You, I'll undo it. Undo, undo. Let's say I want to sort by widget. I just click in the widget column, sort A to Z, or we'll do sort Z to A. We'll do it in reverse. And there we go. W's are first, and then Q's, etc. And all the data stayed together. And I'm going to do an undo here. Uh, you know, so I can tell that all the data stayed together, but if I have any question about it, there's an easy way to verify. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo once, or I could click the undo up here. And when I undo, all the data went back to its unsorted natural original state. But notice that Excel is showing me that it had properly selected the entire table to sort, including the ID value, but it did not select the column headers. It left them at the top. So this is a good thing. It's great that Excel is smart enough that all that you have to do is select within, a, let's say I want to sort by age. I just click inside of age and hit sort A to Z. Or Z smallest to largest. You know, if it's if it's numeric, it'll say sort smallest to largest. If it's text, it'll say sort A to Z. So anyway, interesting difference. So I want to sort smallest to largest on age, and there we go. It's sorted this demo data naturally, and all the rows move with it. So really easy to sort. And the undo trick, Control Z, will prove whether or not everything in the table is selected properly. Now, if you have years and years of habit of selecting the table first like I do, it's old school and it's a bit slower. Or if Excel, for whatever reason, doesn't properly select the right table, sometimes you'll have blocks of data that are missing. And if you select a column here, and, and let's say that there was no data there, Excel might erroneously select this as the uh, table. If that, let me undo. If that's the case, you can always manually select it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to show you how it used to be done, or in case you have to override, or in case you do a custom sort that we're going to see in a minute. So I'm going to select the top of my range selection. I'm not going to include the column headers. And then I'm going to hit Control, hold it down, Shift, hold it down, down arrow, jumps me to the end, still holding the Control and Shift key, and I'm going to hit the right arrow. Now I've selected my range. And now, how do I select a column? Because if I go to click on something, I'll lose my range selection. So with the table range selected that I want to sort in, I hit the tab key and watch what happens. The tab key moves. And whatever this white cell is, is the, the column that it's going to sort on. And I can hit shift tab to go back. So this trick only works if you're going to select the table and do a single column sort. It'll only work with one column. It won't work with multiple because well, let's try it. Now, if I do a shift tab, I don't think it's going to work. So anyway, you can select the table with those shortcut keystrokes, control shift, left and right arrow, and down and up arrow. And then you, you could 
do the custom sort that we'll see in a bit, or you can use the sort up and down as long as you have the proper column selected with the tab key. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sort A to Z on name. Or I'll hit tab. Maybe I'll resort on widget. Sort Z to A on widget. So anyway, that's the old school way to do it. Next up, sorting on multiple contiguous columns. Sometimes you have a table and you want to sort on more than one column. For example, maybe we want to sort on the state and the zip code and the send to. And if that's the case, then just go ahead and select on those three columns. They must be contiguous. You can't select this one, control, and control. You have to select a range, either uh, click, drag, and drop, or click, shift key, click, whatever. But it has to be continuous side-by-side -side rows, and you can't really do multiple rows. I don't think it works anyway. But anyway, select one or two or three columns that you want to sort by that are contiguous, and then come in and do the same sort by that you did before. So we'll sort, now we'll do descending. Now interesting, look at the warning. In this case, when I selected one column in the prior segment, Excel was smart enough to select the entire table and sort all the rows. But in this case, Excel is not automatically doing it. It's asking me, do you want to just sort these three columns and leave all this data where it is, we wouldn't want to do that because then we'd lose the relationship between these values and the row that they're on. So we want to definitely do what Excel is defaulting to. We want to expand the selection. So I, I'm going to leave expand the selection checked. I'm going to click sort and watch what happens. Everything's sorted. So not only the rows in these three columns, but all of the rest of them changed. And to view that, I'm going to hit undo and watch what happens. You'll see John, Jerry, Jenny. When I hit undo, it's not John, Jerry, Jenny. It's John happens to be the first one, but the rest moved around. Washington happened to be first. So anyway, that is how you do a multiple select. You select the range and then do the A to Z sort or Z to A sort. So what would happen if I selected disjointed cells? Let's try this name and state and zip. So they're disjointed. Let's do the sort A to Z, and we're going to get an error. This can't be done on a multiple range selection. There's one part of the range. There's another part. They're not contiguous. So I have to select a single range. So you can't do it. And finally, using the custom sort. There are times when you need to sort on more than one column, but there's three different scenarios where the prior sorting using the sort A to Z or sort Z to A just aren't going to work and you're going to have to do a custom sort. So those three situations are A, if the columns, you want to sort by this column ascending and this column descending, they're in different directions, so you have to do a custom sort. B, the columns are disjointed. Maybe you want to sort on this column and this column. And if they're disjointed, you can't use the regular sorting. And C, the third reason that you might want to do a custom sort is when you want to sort by the column on the right before you want to sort by the column on the left. So those are three scenarios under which you would want to do a custom sort. And to demonstrate all three, we're going to do a test where we sort first on zip code, descending, and then on age, ascending. And that'll trigger all three of those conditions. So we start by clicking somewhere in the body of the table. doesn't matter where. It doesn't have to be the column that we're going to sort on unlike the prior sections of this video. So we'll just click here. And then we're going to go to the Home menu, and we're going to go to the sort, and we're going to do a custom sort. Click that. And then we're going to set up our custom sort. So first we want to sort by, off the screen here, zip code. And we wanted it to be largest to smallest. Notice when zip code is a numeric value, and so our order is largest to smallest. Now when we click Add Level, new row appears, and sort by age. I'm not going to do age. First, I'm going to show you name. When I do name, A to Z, Z to A. If the field is text, your sorting is A to Z, Z to A. If your field is numeric, it's largest to smallest. We're going to change this back to age. And we're going to do the opposite, smallest to largest. And that should trigger all three conditions. Age is to the left in the spreadsheet of zip code. That's one condition. We're doing two different sort orders. That's a second condition. And these two fields are 
disjointed. Age is here, zip code is there. And so our custom sort lets us accommodate all of those. And also look, before I click OK and apply the sort, it's nice to see that Excel has properly selected the grid and can, I can't, the, this is a modal form, so I can't go underneath. But anyway, I can see the gray highlight goes down. I'm assuming it goes to the end. That's a very likely uh, assumption, as well as I'm assuming that it selection goes all the way out to the rightmost column. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And voila, <clears throat> we sorted by zip code descending, starts with the biggest ones, gets smaller. And within each block of zip codes, 98102, the age got bigger. And the next block of zip codes, the age got bigger. So our sort worked properly. And I'm going to undo it. Thank you for watching. And please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe below.